The Mists of Avalon, by Marion Zimmer Bradley, is a reimagining of the Arthurian legend, centering on the perspectives of its female characters within the mystical backdrop of Avalon. The novel diverges from traditional Arthurian tales by placing emphasis on the women who wield power and influence behind the scenes. At its core, the narrative unfolds through the eyes of Morgane, Arthur's half-sister and a priestess of Avalon. The story spans generations, portraying the struggle between the fading pagan religion of Avalon and the rise of Christianity in Britain. Bradley crafts a rich tapestry of conflicting ideologies, societal changes, and the repercussions of these shifts on the characters. One of the most compelling aspects of the book is its exploration of the feminine divine and the interplay between spirituality, power, and gender roles. Avalon represents a sanctuary where women hold significant sway, practicing ancient rituals and magic. Through Morgane's journey, the novel challenges societal norms, presenting a world where women have agency, yet are also constrained by the limitations of their time. The portrayal of Morgane as a complex character embodies conflicting desires and responsibilities. Her unwavering devotion to Avalon clashes with her love for Lancelot and her duty to ensure the preservation of the old ways. Bradley skillfully weaves this inner conflict, humanizing Morgane and showcasing the internal struggles faced by individuals torn between personal desires and greater responsibilities. Arthur, often viewed as the central figure in Arthurian legend, is presented as a man molded by the influences surrounding him, including the women in his life. The novel doesn't idolize him but rather showcases his strengths and flaws through the lens of those closest to him, such as Morgane, Vivian, and Guenifar. The women's manipulation of Arthur's destiny underscores the theme of power dynamics, where the control exerted by women is both a source of strength and a burden. The clash between the old pagan ways and the rise of Christianity serves as a backdrop for broader societal changes. Bradley delves into the complexities of religious beliefs, presenting conflicts between spiritual traditions and the emergence of a dominant monotheistic faith. This clash not only affects the character's beliefs but also drives political tensions, leading to pivotal moments in the narrative. The lush and evocative prose creates a vivid setting, immersing readers in the mystical ambience of Avalon and the stark realities of Arthur's world. Bradley's descriptive prowess brings the landscapes, rituals, and emotions to life, painting a picture that oscillates between enchantment and harsh reality. The Mists of Avalon is a narrative that transcends the boundaries of a traditional retelling, offering a fresh perspective on a familiar legend. It subverts expectations by placing women at the forefront, exploring their struggles, triumphs, and the sacrifices made in a world dominated by men. Through its intricate storytelling and nuanced characters, the novel invites readers to ponder themes of power, faith, and the timeless complexity of human desires and responsibilities.